The roots of the colonial history of Kenya go back to the Berlin Conference in 1885, when East Africa was first divided into territories of the influence by the European powers. The British government founded the East Africa Protectorate in 1895 and soon after opened the fertile highlands to white settlers. Even before it was officially declared a British colony in 1920, these settlers were allowed a voice in government while the Africans and the Asians were banned from direct political participation until 1944. During this period, thousands of Indians were brought into Kenya to work on building the Kenya-Uganda railway line and subsequently settled there. While inviting many of their kids and kin who were mainly traders from India to join them. One thing is clear, the Berlin Conference established the legal claim by Europeans that all of Africa could be occupied by whoever could take it. It also established a process for Europeans to cooperate rather than fight with, e with each other. This cooperation played a huge role in the division and conquest of Africa. The significance of the Berlin Conference was to attain colonial prestige in Africa. The Europeans met at the Berlin Conference and carved up the African continent and of the net worth. No Africans were invited to the conference. By the end of the conference, the European powers had neatly divided Africa up amongst themselves drawing the boundaries of Africa. And again, the Berlin Conference was intended to reduce the conflict between European nations and discard the slave trade, but ultimately divided up Africa to the European nations. European leaders did not invite African leaders to the Berlin Conference because they did not respect the authority of African leaders. In the welfare and interest of African leaders ran contrary to the interest of European nations that attended the conference. Importantly, European colonial powers did not respect the right of self-government of the peoples of Africa. They viewed Africa as something to divide and possess. From the mid-1400 to the mid-1700, Europeans established many trade ports in Africa. But no colonization actually took place and the few colonies that did exist were along the coastline. In the last half of the 19th century, this all began to change. European countries began to invade Africans' interior. By 1870, about 10% of Africa was under European control. And in just 20 short years, this number grew to almost 90%. Every European country wanted a slice of Africa, and this became known as the scramble of Africa. To avoid war between the European countries, the Berlin Conference was held from 1884 to 
during the conference the Treaty of Berlin was drafted. This document laid out the groundwork for how Africa would be divided among Europe. Europe. The conference lasted until February 26, 1885. This was a time when the great powers of most of Western European urged over setting the boundaries for how they should divide Africa. Over 14 countries were presented when the conference began, began on November 15, 1884. And by the end, Africa was divided into about 50 countries. In the wake of the conference, African totaled 10 of thousands dead or mutilated natives by European exploiting the riches of their land. Not yet including thousands more from the African slave trade. And even more lives in the outcome of resistance movements. The imperialistic ideals blessed in Africa in the time had inferred that the African nations are in competent to governing themselves correctly and are generally underdeveloped. This stereotypical image of Africa is still in place today. In many nations, land is subject to tribal ownership. And in others, most of the land is often in the hands of descendants of European settlers of the late 19th century. Africans lost the ability to govern their own people and develop their economies. African natural resources were essentially stolen from them for the betterment of the European powers. Land was divided with no regard to the people of Africa. It decided which European power would control which, which, which area of Africa. This division of Africa created bond, borders that did not take into consideration African kingdoms or cultural and language boundaries. This makes it add even today to embrace the concept of nationalism when the boundaries of countries do not mirror the 